stay alive It gets deep, homie, take a dive They take pleasure in the private My career defy gravity, the haters mad at me I'm glossed over like I'm laminated The picture painted, the veil is tainted it's Hey, what's up guys? Um, I am Fred, aka Mace Windu That's about with the M-A dollar sign E <laughs> I am... <laughs> I am Randy. Uh, uh, we're gonna stick with Young Solo. Gonna young fly Solo. with that all the way through. Yeah. And my name is Sergio Lopez, also known as Galvatron. <laughs> That's and amazing. Yeah. Trademarked. Trademarked. And we are Three Sith Mafia. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Three Sith Mafia. Um, so we got like a lot of things to cover. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of exciting stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of exciting stuff. Um, I guess we can just get right into it. Justice League trailer. Yes! Mm. Let's get into that. How? How do we feel about it? Um, I guess we don't. Yeah. Um, okay. Excited. I was excited. Okay. Um, you know I am with the DC stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm a Marvel dude, but um, DC looks like this is this looks like it's exciting. And also, I think they learned from the Batman v Superman trailer. Yeah. So, <laughs> so much. <laughs> no, I don't just, know. I feel like the, the, do it the twist is when he says, "I dig your suit," and then that's where that's the whole point of the movie. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I don't think they were <laughs> credits. Yeah, that's <laughs> all credits. That's it. <laughs> they gave it to me all again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, no, no. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, yeah, I Aquaman. Were, I feel like Aquaman shines in uh, this new Justice League. Mm -hmm. Trailer. Uh, Jason Momoa looks great. The whole suit yes. looks amazing. I was surprised at how good his suit looked. Yeah, the yes. suit. Great. In a lot of pictures, to me, I thought it looked goofy. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah in a lot of looks, set yeah. photos. And yeah. I was like, oh, it looks clunky. I don't know. But I don't. I still don't understand how things look different in film. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the pictures? Yeah. yeah. I make uh, films, and I don't understand that. <laughs> So like uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Ivan Ooze from uh, Apocalypse, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was like, he looks so dumb, and then I watched the movie. He looks fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. in this one, it's oh the uh, uh, for example, also the Power Ranger suits. I thought they looked dumb, and then I watched the movie, and it's like, oh, they're great. Yeah, they're yeah, cool. So this is the same thing in that trailer. Aquaman himself looked pretty dope. All right. And to, to piggyback on that, yeah. um, I was worried personally that because Aquaman has that history. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, we, and we knew they were going to try to do whatever they could to make, make him cool, cool, starting with casting Jason Momoa, and I think it worked from that trailer. He seems very comfortable in that character yeah. that he's built, mm -hmm. um, so like you said, I think that's what calls him to shine, and the suit doesn't look bad as at all in the, no. in the trailer, which is great. Um, furthermore, I I think, uh, like you said, they learned from the BBS trailer. Yeah. This is very different, and um, there were... There were uh, Either way, no matter what anyone feels about the trailer, it's a win for DC because it got fans excited. It got that excitement in the air mm -hmm. that I don't know that excitement has been the same uh, in a long, oh, long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the excitement in the air after that was tangible. DC fans were coming on making jokes yeah. about, like, there was the Marvel characters' reaction, uh, the Avengers' reactions to the uh, oh, yeah, yeah, trailer yeah, and yeah. stuff. It's just like, and, it, and, it, and it's cool because it, it, it got their fan base hyped. So yeah. that's what it needed to I do. I mean, I think I, um, when the Suicide Squad trailer came out, everybody was like, this is it. Like, yeah, this is what's going to put us, put DC on the map. And then after that low, uh -huh. DC fans are just really, really low. I think this is, I think the reason this surpasses even that trailer, though, because mm -hmm. that trailer was put together very well mm -hmm. um, until they decide to make the movie like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. either way, once again, I still think that movie was fun. It's just edited poorly. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, but this one is different because you got th this is the Justice League. Yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if this trailer didn't deliver, it'd be you know. So the fact that it did deliver was great. I, we have to talk about uh, standout line of the trailer, standout moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's superpower? Yeah. What's uh, your what's, what's your superpower again? Uh, I'm rich. That, that was great. great. That's literally the that most great. honest superhero <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In, in fan, fans have great. been saying that for years. They've talked yeah. about that for years. Yeah, Pepe, he's yeah. It was great to it see them great give that uh, give that line. In there. Also, it's like that funny Kevin Conroy Batman uh -huh. that's like cracking those like slick jokes all the time, like Justice League cartoon mm -hmm. Batman. He's not Conroy. always funny. He's a little a little creepy in that. Uh, what, the, the Justice League? Uh, no, the Kevin Conroy in uh, the uh, 
Killing joke? Oh. Is it a killing joke? I, there it is. I, that you, that, you, that you, doesn't count to me. I, I own the comics. So okay. The so, killing joke yeah, movie. Well, the, the movie they added. It didn't happen. Uh, I, I liked it. Um, I, heard, I heard. Are you talking about the Batwoman? Yeah. yeah, yeah the back it, uh, and that, I was awkward. just like, that man, you're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's know, awkward. But, uh, but, but uh, I was going to say. Well, uh, other standout moments. Of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about those parademons. Those parademons yeah. look cool, they, and they look scary. They do. Um, um, yeah, parademons, it's funny to me, that's like an example of lazy naming to me that worked. <laughs> but it worked. It's just like, yeah, it was just like, what? oh yeah, we got these demon creatures, what are we going to call them? You know, just call them but they got wings, they're different. They got wings, parademons. <laughs> <laughs> parachute down, yeah, yeah. we're done. Uh, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it it does. works. Um, they do look cool. Uh, let's talk about Aquaman obliterating two of them with his with his on the, bat, and on the Batmobile and riding on the Batmobile. Riding on the Batmobile. So, uh, uh, just putting it work. So real quick, uh, yes. I liked a lot of the moments. I, the, that's got to be the part that bothers me just a little bit. Yeah. Is Aquaman at the end? First of all, saying I dig it. It's like, hmm, I'm not sure yet. Because it's confusing to me. It's like, are you just Jason Momoa? Or are you? <laughs> or are you like a? Because in the previous trailer, the teaser, right? Yes. He had like kind of a regal badass it's standoffishness, right? And then all of a sudden, I hear sup and I uh, dig it, and also like woo. So yeah. I'm just like, I don't. I gotta. I gotta. I need to see. More I, I can I kind of get with that because he's been raised, you know. Yeah. On the, you know. Earth or land or whatever. Earthland. Earthland. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Uh, but I also get where you come from because I'm like, how much of this is just Jason Momoa being Jason Momoa? Because I'm pretty sure I, he also has Aquaman powers, yeah. also. So I just, <laughs> in real life. In real yeah, life, yeah. like he basically has mm -hmm. those powers I, anyway. I think a few things about that. Uh, yeah. One. I think p they partially hired him to be Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah, they yeah. want to make Aquaman cool. Yeah. But I definitely get where you're coming from, and I think yeah. that's one thing we did see in the trailer, yeah. um, which I think we all knew anyway, was um, the first trailer showed you that Stan offices him, mm -hmm. and this one, they give you that things like, when he find like this, we see after he decides to join the team, yeah. and then I think that's him being less Stan offish is what we're seeing. I so we're seeing two different... Formations of the character, I guess, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it definitely feels very Momoa. Well, those scenes obviously are after he's kicked it with Bruce and well, that's Warner see, that's stuff. he's more comfortable now. Well, I guess that's the the thing that I just have to wait to see the movie for. Yeah, it's just literally like it feels like two different people at the moment, ah. and I want to know. I want to make sure that I, I hope that they get the consistency right so that that part of like yeah. that looks dope. Yeah, you know, the suit is justified because that's the. Because it's just like, like I said, it feels like two different Aquaman at the moment, yeah. and the current worry that I have, even though I would like to see this movie, yeah, I'm excited, yeah. is that they, that, you know, they're making such a hard turn because of Batman v Superman, yeah. right? And they're like, alright, so we have this serious script, yeah. let's make it funny, right? Yeah. So I hope... Well, they tried that with Suicide Squad, so I And that's what I am yeah. kind of worried about. I like, yeah. I like Suicide Squad, but you yeah. can tell where the changes yeah. were. Yeah. You know? um, so that's where I'm coming from from the trailer itself. Yeah. In One terms of Momoa and humor. I still don't know how I feel about the flash suit. I still don't know. It looks cool to me when it was going fast in that well, Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, the, uh, I had reservations until yeah. I saw it in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was going to say, when I, I seen it in action, I was like, okay, it looks a little cool. I and still then, prefer uh, the Flash scene yeah, on I, TV. I, I like the that's lower tech. Of it. I don't uh, need like the Guyver yeah, Flash. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I Gundam noticed. Flash. So the Flash suit in um, in uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Uh, the one thing about that, I thought that looked clunky and a little it bit weird. It did look clunky. Dude. That was clearly prototype. We we're like, we need to get a Flash now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then the one in the trailer for the uh, just it's a little League, bit more streamlined. It's a little more streamlined. It's like yeah. the the helmet was clearly fatter in uh, <laughs> Suicide Squad. It was. I was like, how? What? And in this one, it's like, Daredevil oh, season one. Sleep. Yes, that's what yeah, it was yeah. with a giant forehead. Jesus. Um, um, yeah. I think uh, to hit really quickly on two more things. Yeah. One. Wonder Woman's not featured a lot in this trailer. Mm -hmm. um, I think that might be partially because she has her woman, Ooh, woman, yeah, her movie coming out. She didn't even get a short 15 second teaser. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what's up? She didn't get a. F she, she did. She did? She did. Yeah, she, she at least did a different yeah. day. But she I got one. She, she got, got one. one. Um, she got one. Um, but I, I think that was why they pulled back. But I did love seeing her at the forefront 
of Cyborg in Aquaman when yeah. she comes in, mm -hmm. um, uh, ready to lead them into battle. I yeah. thought that was great. Still super excited for Wonder Woman. Um, Cyborg. I would like to hear her. your thoughts about Cyborg. Yeah. I'm not. I don't know a whole bunch about the character, mm. and I'm not into Cyborg yeah, me, and me, robot me. type characters yeah. in general. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I would love to hear thoughts on I, what they think about him and how he looks. And, I think the CG isn't all the way there. Yeah. Well, you know, and they have not. Months. Yeah, they got yeah. six more months, so I'm gonna wait. It, it probably will look better yeah. in the movie. Yeah. Than, uh, that's that's the thing. Trailers are just to like get excited. Work in progress. Here's the work in progress. Um, yeah. Uh, an example yeah. of that is the Ghost in the Shell uh, mm. uh, trailers, like before they show her mm. um, clearly jumping through the glass. And oh, in yeah, the next yeah, trailer, yeah, yeah. she it, it's all it digital. Looks yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I won't fault that part of it. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, one of the things that uh, that one shot you were talking about over yeah. the three of them there, what I specifically like because it has Cyber in it, I just want to mention it. Ha it sh they show the way that they all stand has all their personalities in it. Yeah. yeah. So, like, obviously Aquaman, he's a wild man, so he's just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have Cyborg, who seems, uh, from this trailer, seems the, to be the most superhero hero esque Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, are you, uh, he's... <laughs> he has his mouth closed. Honestly, he seems like what Superman should be. Like, are yeah. you okay, sir? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that lost me. I yeah, was like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, but okay. Yeah. But yeah, okay. I, that, that can last you. But I, I just thought it was funny. It's like that should have been Superman. Yeah. Like, uh, you shouldn't be around here, sir. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was funny. But him in the in the corner, like like more stoic ass, and then yeah, uh, yeah. warrior of yeah. Wonder Woman. Friend. And that's yeah. the thing. It and that for me feels like two different things because we hadn't really heard from him before. Yeah. yeah. But you see him in the slow motion walking in his jacket. Yeah. Like yeah, a, his prep oh, jacket, and he's just like, "This guy's a bad." And then yeah. that's hey. Yeah. Stop, man. I'm are like, you okay? just like, are you okay or whatever? I'm sure that's, that's like three like accidents. Robocop. Yeah. 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 Robocop, yeah. He when was very Robocop ish. Yeah. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose or. Uh, I'm, uh, it's, he's, it's definitely on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, it's, I'm. Yeah. I'm I'm excited about it. It made me kind of. It made me feel a little bit better about what's going on in DC. If the Wonder Woman. Yeah. Kind of so we're all excited too. about Justice League. Yeah. Good job, DC. Yeah. That, well done for the, for, for the trailer. Good job for the trailer. So yeah, we're not giving yeah, you. Yeah, we're not giving you a pass yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, if no, you, if no, you no. screw these two movies up, you're done. You're done. Yeah, right? it's over. Uh, the it's rest of the movies can still come, but you're done. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Iron Fist. What's up? Iron Fist season one. Iron Fist like. season one. I have finished it. Mm -hmm. Me too. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Where do you rank it amongst the Netflix series? Like, low. Okay. All right. Let, and so that's only you, because the Netflix... Do you mean low or last? Last. last. There you okay, go. Yeah, so yeah, 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 I'm going to make sure we're honest Only here. because the Netflix series have set such a high yeah. bar. Uh, a lot of times when I'm watching this, Iron, Iron Fist felt like a CW. Show a yeah. little bit to me. Okay, it felt kind of CW ish, but that's not bad because CW has the Flash, which I love. Yeah. Arrow season I, one and two. I think a, really good. a couple of things I like. I like to. I would probably rank it third or fourth, maybe third, because Luke Cage. While I loved it for the first half, mm -hmm. once Cottonmouth yeah, was gone, Ma Masha, fell yeah. off a cliff for me. Yeah. Um. Sure, I mean, not you know, not total. It's yeah. not like it was just a garbage show after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like they oh, couldn't no, no, recreate. No. Yeah, the they, tone messed up. They couldn't recreate that same magic with uh, Diamondback. Yeah. The um, tone shifted. Yeah. After so I Diamond think Marvel. just because of that, I might have to put Iron Fist third. I think. Um, but in Iron Fist did for me what Jessica Jones did for me, which was start slow and got better the second half, like as it went. That's how Jessica Jones felt for me. Like as Jessica Jones went on, I got more and more into it. So I was oh. talking to a friend about Iron Fist, yeah. and um, they they brought this analogy of what Iron Fist basically is to the Netflix series. And yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, Iron Fist is uh, the first Avenger of the of yeah. the series for the. So basically, what I'm yeah. what I'm trying to get at is. It doesn't have all the stronger parts because they're just trying to get to defenders. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got you. Um, How do you guys feel about that? I I could see that. That's why I said it kind of feels CW-ish to me. And the only reason why I wouldn't put Iron Fist over Luke Cage is because that first half of Luke Cage is so strong that like I feel like it kind of 
overrides Iron Fist a little bit. It'd be, yeah, if the show was, if Blue Cage was like seven episodes long, mm-hmm. I'd probably put it like second among the Netflix shows. But it unfortunately had like six episodes to go after that, yeah. and it got rough at some points. Uh, also, but but I mean, yeah, I think we ahead. can I think we can agree the best work they've done is Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Daredevil season two, especially. Like. Uh, love it. Um, but um, I think uh, with Iron Fist, I one hundred percent agree with your, uh, the point your your friend brought up. Mm-hmm. With them, it's like them trying to get to the it's defenders. Russian. Yeah, they so just they're saying, and not only that, they're setting up so much of. They're setting up Defenders and Iron Fist's future. Yeah. So future seasons of Iron Fist would like they set up his his nemesis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, you see him come in and where he comes from, and you see that story. They change it a little bit from yeah. the comics, but it's still cool. It still works, and it and it um and it comes together. I think one thing I'd like to point out that I think people are missing about Iron Fist is the women are super come off super strong in the oh, show. Oh yeah, they're dope. Uh, they come off so amazing. Colleen Wing is a new star for the Netflix oh, yeah, series. Yeah. Um, Claire, of course, did her thing. Claire Rosario Dawson, Rosario Dawson yeah. did her thing again. Yeah. She's been so integral to uh, yeah. coming in she's in her spots the on all these she's shows. Yeah. No, yeah. she's definitely the Nick Fury. Are you sure she's uh, not the Colson? Which, which one? I don't. I Coulson. Feel, Coulson. Let's Coulson say Colson. Well, okay. Nick Fury. Like, 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 ah. Well, Rosario is the only one that knows. Everybody. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like she's obviously probably going to be the one to get everybody together. I don't think they'll all meet in like under one circumstance. I no, think no, no, two no. will probably meet them. So she might introduce one to one, and then you know. I know a guy. But um, but here's here's but here's the thing: the the women in oh, Jesse Ho- or Jerry Hogarth. The use amazing. of her was amazing. Uh, amazing. Um, freaking and um, yeah. So I thought the I thought the, those uh, those three women in particular. Stood out. I <laughs> Joy's storyline got a little weird, weird yeah. to me, and I don't. I'm not, I didn't know how I felt. Um, about especially it. where she ends up. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of like ah, That's there, weird. there's like a missing step yeah. between how we yeah, got there. Yeah, I was like, oh, um, okay. But the other, but the other three, they come off so strong in the series. Yeah. And um, as far as like, and I, I don't want to get into a thing because we've already talked about yeah, it before. Yeah. But as far as like the white savior concept yeah. of the show, it doesn't feel like that because it it feels like. They're almost more of a hero than Iron Fist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, trying to like, find out what he is and, yeah. or, and how to best apply it. Yeah. And they're the guiding forces. There are so many times that he does not make it out without Colleen. He has yeah. to ask her for help. Yeah. She insists on coming when he says no. She's like, yeah. I'm going to do this. Yeah. And then when it comes to her to fight that, I don't want to say who it is, but yeah. that big person that yeah. they're all three she, there about fighting, she, she takes it. She's like, you guys stand down. She this is my mean. fight. Yeah. There, there's no savior for Colleen yeah. Wing. Colleen Wing is a strong character on her own. I, I um, will say this. Uh, Finn Jones's fight scenes, I, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, these kind of, I don't know, there's something off about them. Come to find out, like what you were saying as far as like rushing, uh, I think he had an interview where he was talking about the fight choreography. They would only teach him this like 15 minutes before the scene. So... Um, and then he never, he never like really got to go to camp or like, I, I mean? well, I, I, like I, I thought it was, for this stuff. I thought it was, he had a training regimen, but then once the show started, they couldn't keep up, they couldn't keep up doing yeah. the training regimen, but he was doing the train, he had a training regimen. It just, regimen uh, it just sucks because you can tell like, wanted, yeah, he, it, this did kind of feel like, all right, come on, hurry up, hurry up, we got to get to the fitness. I, I don't know. Some, what was some weird, fight scenes. What was weird some to, fight scenes. For me, most of those fight scenes are early in the show. I don't know if they filmed the show linear or not, mm-hmm. but that's, um, I, or if they filmed the other way, but for me, most of those fight scenes where it's just like, mm-hmm. eh, are early in the show. Um, and then as it goes later on, um, I don't know if it's the talent that he's working with then, or, but uh, I think they get a lot better because very early on, his fight scenes, they're very small, they're very contained, and not much is happening with them and i i think fight choreography or not training or not they weren't gonna look as spectacular because of the those decisions they told to make they were very small isolated things and I, if you were coming in expecting iron fist who's one of the supreme martial artists in the marvel universe to have the best action sequences um which he's coming in after daredevils which are some of the best action sequences yeah. anywhere yeah. then it's kind of a it's kind of a letdown in that aspect yeah. um but things they did that i do like is they do have signatures like him and colleen were throwing those signature back elbows like those a, are dope. a couple times those um, are dope. 
And her um, her fight scene, no issue. And, I didn't have any issue with any of her fight scenes. And uh, in the um, and later on, he develops because uh, Daredevil has that sweet jump spin kick thing. Oh that he does. my god! Uh, some uh, Finn develops a, uh, yeah. his character. Yeah, that he, kick. He a lot gets of a jump dope kick. Jump, a lot of roundhouses, he, a lot of like double kicks. He gets a dope dope yeah. one later on too. Yeah. That's that's really awesome. Um, but, but that, that, that comes later. That shit. But this, the the none of the fights are compared to Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, because I was comparing it to the fights from Daredevil season one. That's the yeah. Well, they don't. Need, they didn't even need to match.